So welcome back drifters. Today what we're doing is we're going to take a hydraulic roller like what you would typically find on most of your LS style engines these days and convert it to a solid lifter. Now we're not going to run the engine with solid lifters. What we're doing is we're turning them to solid lifters so that way we can test when we're doing our piston to valve clearance as well as finding uh, you know degree in the cam stuff like that. We want to make sure that we have it exactly where we want it because in hydraulic lifters There's a little spring down here and it uses fluid to kind of maintain the tension So there's a little bit of play in this now This here is a solid lifter like what's found on a uh, BMW this is actually out of our e36 this thing has no spring in it It still has hydraulic fluid that runs into it, but it rides directly on the cam on this uh, whereas on this, you've got this little like roller thing here, and it just kind of rolls around. It's nice and smooth. These are obviously good for performance and stuff like that, but a solid lifter is what we need to do the check because we don't want there to be any play in there. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you how to break this thing down and basically convert it to a solid lifter. There will still be a little bit of play, but I'll get to that when I do it. So let's do it. Okay, so when you're looking at the hydraulic roller, there's a little clip in here. First thing we got to do is remove that clip. And just kind of work that thing out. There we go. All right, so we got the first clip out. That thing's good to go. So now we just kind of pop that top piece off. Okay, so now that we got the clip off, we just take this thing out. So you got this little disc and this little piece here. We just kind of keep that together. Okay, so now what we're going to do is pull the plunger out. It's a little piece like this. It slides right out. There we go. And then there's a little spring you just saw that popped out of there. We're going to pull that out real quick. Okay, so now what we're doing is we just pull the spring out. This little spring here is the whole thing that causes all the issues. So once we get the spring out, now we just have a basically a solid lifter and we got to put it all back together. So now in the barrel here, you'll see this is where the spring normally sits. So normally it would go in with this thing facing down. But what I'm going to do is flip it around and we're going to pop it so that side is facing up. And it should go right in, nice and easy. Okay, so now that we have this thing with the nipple facing up and it's all reversed, that's good. So now instead of taking this thin disc, we're not going to put this in. We're going to take this out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and set it on top. So directly on top like that, so it'll look something like this. And then we put the little safety clip in there. This part here can be kind of a pain in the butt, but you just got to kind of work it in as best you can. I find using a screwdriver also kind of helps. There it goes. Okay. Okay. And now we have it in there, and we have a solid lifter. There's no play at all. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't have any movement. Um... And yeah, so that's really good. So this will be good. So if we need this for doing any checks, we have it now. It's really simple. And all you got to do to reverse it is hold on to your spring in this disc. And then you'll be able to just flip everything back to normal and use it for a regular hydraulic lifter. So that's that. So really the big issue and why we wanted to do it is to remove the spring. And this little disc had to come out just because otherwise it's just not going to work. It's just the clearances are just that tight that you can't get the clip in with that little thin disc. But now we have a solid lifter. There's like no play in this sucker. So we'll be able to actually use this thing for making our measurements for the piston to valve clearance, as well as checking any other number of things that we would need a solid lifter for. So yeah, that's a simple fix for that. If this helped you, be sure to hit that like button. It would be much appreciated. And if you really want to see more of this engine build, you know, consider subscribing because uh, yeah, got a lot more work to do. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Oh yeah. And I keep forgetting to say this, but uh, keep it nice and easy. See ya.